Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be jumping straight into the Bitcoin chart here because we have seen an absolutely massive move to the downside. I will be letting you know how my short trades are continuing to go right now in the moment. I would also like to just cover you know, the local price action here, what's happening between this daily and weekly level and what we can be looking for next, literally over the next few days here because the volatility is absolutely outstanding right now obviously i posted just a second ago over on twitter what would you prefer to see a bitcoin analysis or me taking a look at the altcoins because the altcoins right now are even more volatile oh i'm lo <laughs> for me it's nice they're very volatile and obviously we've seen some coins such as luna down over 80 percent in a few days I did put that out there. What would you prefer to see? The majority of people have answered Bitcoin. So I am going to cover Bitcoin in today's video. If you would like me to do another video covering the altcoins such as Luna or some of the most volatile coins right now, leave a comment down below what you want to see and the highest voted altcoin I will cover for you next. I want to start here looking at Bitcoin. Why do I want to look at Bitcoin? Because that's the asset that for me is the most important right now. It's where I've got the most amount of money on the line. As you know, from the last video that I made, which was on the 2nd of May, almost 10 days ago now, my title was really simply, The Bitcoin Bears Remain in Control. I am still short until a sign of strength. That was while we were back at $38,000. 10 days later, here we are, $30,000. And yes, I will tell you this, I still remain in my short positions. I'm going to explain that to you exactly why I'm in those short positions still in this video. So please just pay full attention because I'm giving you all of the information, all of the information that you need. So, in that last video, we were obviously talking about the upward sloping channel that we were, we were within. That daily, oh, please just pay attention here. That daily, I gave you 37615 The higher daily there, obviously that $40,000 psychological level. We knew $40,000 was resistance. We knew that 37615 was support. I would like to just show you very briefly, before we get onto what's happening right now, how that progressed. Over the next 24 hours, we actually had a perfect drop into that daily level. A rise in price up into the $40,000 resistance, continuing with the move to the downside. As like here, as many other champions are saying, you know, it's it, in the end, it was a relatively easy long position into switching into a short at the top. I myself did not take either of those trades because I was obviously away on holiday. I did not take that long. I did not take that short. But I actually know many, many people did get into that long and even more got into the short primarily because of Igor. And Igor switched his bias <laughs> into bearishness, uh, expecting lower prices after the rejection of that daily. So shout out to Igor updating all of the team throughout the day. Oh, it was you know it was it was quite outstanding if I say most if I say so myself. But just so you can actually see the price action down there on the lower term time frames, that was the bounce off of the daily that I gave you in advance up to the forty thousand dollar psychological rejection. Back test of the daily, continuous downwards movement. If you wanted some live updates on this price action and the short positions as it was going down, Eagle gave that in the group, you know, pretty perfectly. I'm not going to lie. And that really is bringing us up to where we are here. Obviously, from that, we rejected off that daily. We lost the channel. We lost our channel and we're obviously losing that daily. And from there, there was zero Zero sign of strength. Remember, I'm waiting for a sign of strength. Do you think this is a sign of strength? Overall, lower high, lower low, lower highs, lower highs. This is still another lower high, making lower lows. And look at this price action, how it resumes continuously lower highs and lower lows. Everything just so, 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 so bearish, bringing us to the absolute last daily level on the Bitcoin chart here locally at 29000 $775. I'm referring to the last one year of price action here. This, this daily, obviously, from where we first built our, our um, $30,000 support zone, this is the absolute last daily on the whole of the chart there at that $30,000. So it's obviously a big level. We did see a bounce off of it. And from that, we saw a bounce, a bit of a back test. And this is where I started to get interested this morning. If you aren't aware, I'm actually back. I'm, I'm probably back trading tomorrow, although I am actually here in my I call it now my new trading station. I am back in the trading station, but I've just, it's kind of just, I've kind of got an absolutely insane day. Obviously, I've been away for nearly two months. Uh, yeah, today's like a catch up day and I'm really back tomorrow. But nevertheless, I was up extremely early today. 
you know, looking at this price action, thinking to myself, okay, what's happening next? I actually hardly got any sleep. Really simply, I said to my team at 4 a.m. Yes, at 4 a.m. You know, we've got to be aware of the swing forward pattern and also the, the weekly, okay? So have your alerts set at the weekly. Be aware of the swing forward pattern. You know, these are the next best trades, okay? So that's obviously coming in at that 31,800. Have your alerts set. That's what we're ready and waiting for. And ah. Uh, <laughs> if like magic, that was the 4 a.m. update that I gave. A few hours later, what happened? There's your move up into the weekly. There's your rejection. You also did swing for your pattern almost the last time. But really simply, the clear as day rejection off of that weekly. And we've already seen a 4% move to the downside. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. CC Paul, we absolutely love it. And, you know, that's that's the simple stuff that we're on about. So while we are looking at, you know, you could refer to this as madness, extreme volatility, you know, really, really, really big moves, a lot of fear, a lot of emotions. I just want to show you there the last few trades. Weekly, sorry, a bounce off the daily, rejection off the daily, moving all the way down. Yes, there was no support found at the weekly. You actually went straight through it, back tested as resistance, down to your lower daily. OK, and then obviously this morning bouncing well, rejecting, sorry, off that daily once more. So although there is a lot of volatility, there is a lot of emotions. If you are remaining calm, collected, patient, like this guy says, you know, with that knowledge combined with the execution, you are remaining calm, collected and making money. I really do hope with me on these moves. OK, so that really then leads us up to what's now, what's happening now and what are we looking for next? Well, the answer still remains within this current local range. So, yes, we are now forming a range, okay, that is between this daily, and we can obviously give this a bit of space. We don't need to view it as an exact dollar, but we're obviously looking around this $29,500 zone as support currently, and then we're looking at around that $32,000 zone as resistance currently. That's obviously the weekly zone to the daily zone. Of course, if we break either of these levels, we will really simply be looking then to trade it to your next level of support and resistance. But for now, in my perspective, we have got a range to be trading. The break of this range is obviously going to be decisive. We need to be aware of failed auctions and swing failure patterns of either side of this range. Obviously, the top of this range is arguably coming up to around $33,000. Obviously, the bounce from the daily was quite high. OK, but then you obviously come down, back test the CC and you came down lower. But, you know, you've really got that thirty three thousand dollars, I would argue, at the top. Of course, you had the confluence here of the weekly this morning because of the last high onto the level. So this was, a, you know, this was quite an easy short. But nevertheless, the, the higher top of the range there is obviously coming in at um, thirty three thousand dollars. If you wanted to see the confluence that you had there, by the way, um, no surprise. But it was the weekly on the CC on the last high. That's why I refer to it as an easy short. But nevertheless, Really should have hit take profit one off of that already. And uh, now you can continue to look for lower prices, see if we come down for the failed auction swing for it. And of course, a reclaim of the weekly would be looking back up to that $33,000 zone. Or well, if you can reclaim that, of course, the speed that you fell down, the, the bounce can be just as high. Would I be extremely bearish down at these lows? No, of course. If you, you think I'm extremely bearish right now, you, you're mistaken. I'm not extremely bearish. Am I prepared for downside? I think the answer is obviously yes. I think I've made it very clear several 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 times in public and private in the discord i i, I am sure i am you know i've been in shorts i mean so here, here's some of the you know obviously shout out some of the short positions i've been in since sixty nine thousand dollars called the absolute high but i mean it's a, across the altcoins as well you know it's 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 this 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 advantage of once you are in these positions you 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 you're able to be rewarded by just remaining a little bit patient here. So I just want to conclude here. I want to make sure everybody fully understands because I do know some of the viewers are going to be panicking. Some some of our viewers are new. They are not having any idea about the levels I'm talking about, the technical analysis. I just want to make this clear. Okay, please just pay full attention to what I'm saying. And that is this market is extremely volatile. The levels and the technical analysis that you can take from this, though, are extremely well respected. Do not be panicking right now. Do not be fearful. Do not do not come up into this market and think that you are better than everybody else in that regards. You just need to humble yourself, approach this market and say, hey, these are my levels. This is where I'm going to trade. If we lose a support level, let's look down to our next level of support. OK, like this. This was our level of support. That channel was lost. We had then a massive 
move to the downside straight to this weekly which was also lost in the end down to the daily but we can see how then these levels are still remaining well respected we knew during this whole move to the downside there was zero 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 long opportunities why because we had not had any support there we did not have any support there and there was zero sign of strength okay so when we approach this actually in a very simplistic manner what can be very ad advanced i suppose and what can be you know we, we can get I, I could go into this analysis and make this times 100 more advanced for you all we need to do is flick onto the order flow and you know we're, we're, we're reaching another level of, of advanced but i'm trying to keep this one very simple very calm and just just how i approach trading every single day and that is with this calm persona you know period I, I i'm not feeling any sort of emotions running through my veins i'm just hey these are the levels really simply today i knew that was the next level for the trade off the weekly a few hours later alert goes off see the short i take it do i know that we're definitely going down absolutely 100 percent lower no of course i don't but i do know there's been no signs of strength right now i do know what a sign of strength is at the very least and that's a reclaim of the weekly okay I do know where an where a, a advantageous long would be, and that's obviously looking for a swing failure pattern, or lower, of course. And until either one of those things happen, I've got a range to trade. If it breaks down, I know my next level to the downside. I'm in a lot of shorts, so that's obviously good for myself. And I know where a sign of strength is and where I'd like to flip into long positions. Okay, so I truly hope that this video, although short, sweet, and I have kept it very simple, uh, I, I still hope nevertheless it has been helpful for you once again I did give you all of this information you know I gave you a lot of information in the last video shout out to Victor the coaches as well they gave you the harmonics I mean the harmonics have been pretty legendary um, you know that harmonic short position that we're obviously talking about um, you know they, they, they've played out they've played out very well uh, to say the least um, and I suppose that's that's how I'm going to sign off if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like down below and comment with the altcoin that you'd like me to cover next. If the video gets over 3,000 likes, I will cover the most requested altcoin. Or maybe the top three most requested altcoins for 3,000 likes, I suppose. Until then, if you want to see more from myself, I am now back trading. Really, from tomorrow, I'm going to say. So if you want, you know, some people um, were sad that I went. Hey, I'm back now. So if you want to see more insights from myself, as I'm going to be basically back uh, from tomorrow, fully active. Um, you know, hey, jump over into the Discord, sign up to Chart Champions, educate yourself, empower yourself, learn, and hopefully make some money with us along the way. That would be brilliant. Hey, I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed, and I will catch you in the very next video that I make. Of course, I'll end with the disclaimer. There is, of course, no financial advice. This is an education, entertainment video only. I'm just giving you my opinions on the market. With that said, thank you ever so much. Enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.